dear students we are on the part 5 of the chapter cell structure and function and in this video we will be comparing plant cell and animal cell okay but i want to give you more information about another type of cell also that is prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell okay that is the reason why i have just changed the topic name that is the type of the cell i have given because i am bringing the comparison between two different types of cell okay see cell are of different type okay first difference is the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell okay we learned this thing in the nuclear part right when we studied about the nucleus that at that time we studied that when the cell is not having a nuclear membrane okay and that time what happens the genetic material which is present inside the cell will be scattered all around the cell you, you see here okay the genetic material which is present inside the nucleus is scattered all around i didn't make genetic material out here let me make it for your convenience okay there are genetic material inside the nucleus right see here the genetic material is scattered all around the cell right but here it is concentrated at a center isn't it that is the main key difference okay because there is no nuclear membrane okay genetic material are scattered all around the cell but the genetic material is concentrated at the center because of the presence of nuclear membrane and second is membrane bound organelles are absent here and the membrane bound organelles are present here so sorry for this okay here they are present and you see out here uh, you you see there are the organelles are there isn't it there are organelles that means see shape are there means when i told you membrane in the last video okay what i told about that is membrane is the outer boundary okay if anything is having the boundary we tell them these thing is membrane bound okay means here the organelles are membrane bound they all have their definite boundaries okay but here you see these are the organelles which are scattered all around the organelles are very 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 small and they are scattered all around they do not have perfect shape they do not have perfect structure okay their organelles are scattered all around our organelles are present inside a membrane that is the main difference you need to note okay now come to plant cell and animal cell now i think you are clear that both plant cell and as well as animal cell they are eukaryotic why is that so because see here the picture is there the plant cell is also having a membrane bound organelles and the animal cell are also having a membrane bound organelles but you see here the organelles were scattered all around right so these are eukaryotic cell okay and now we are bringing out the comparison between plant cell and animal cell and this is the very very key thing okay that you need to understand here the plant cell is larger in size and animal cell is smaller in size this is the first thing okay and second is cell wall is present in plant cell you see the red color margin with which i have drawn okay it, it is mentioned as cell wall this thing is present in cell but this is not there anywhere in animal cell okay and plastids are present plastids are absent you see this green color okay this green color organelle is known as plastids okay they are present in animal cell but you you can you see any green color thing out here no okay there are no green plastids in animal cell okay plastids are also known as chloroplast okay green color plastids are known as chloroplast you note that down all, all right and the green color plastids or the chloroplast they contains pigment known, known as chlorophyll okay and chlorophyll are concentrated mostly on the leaves of the plant that is why the plant leaf appear green in color okay and you see here single large vacuole numerous small vacuoles i told this thing in the previous video also you see the vacuole in the plant cell it is so large and it is single you see this thing is the vacuole okay and here there is there are small vacuoles this you see these are very small right single and large vacuole okay numerous and small vacuole many and small vacuole okay chlorophyll present chlorophyll absent this is known because plastid is not present out here if plastid is not present then how will be chlorophyll present right the chlorophyll is present in plant cell and it is absent in animal cell and another thing only the thing that is 
present in animal cell and absent in plant cell is the centrosome all right centrosome is present in animal cell but it is absent in plant cell and i told you again it helps in cell division okay the last thing that i have added is photosynthetic and non photosynthetic okay since they have chlorophyll they are photosynthetic since they do not have chlorophyll they are non photosynthetic all right i hope this thing is clear to you all right the main and the key thing is to study the diagram of both the cell okay the picture of this both the cell are very important okay you might get the question to draw the plant cell and animal cell so before going for the exam please be familiar with with these two diagrams okay i think now since you know the difference it will be easy for you to memorize the diagram also and you need to learn the name of all the organelles that is also very important okay all for today's students if you like my video please do hit the like button share and subscribe my channel and with this we are over with the chapter cell structure and function okay and we'll be going for the next chapter i'll be adding all this video in a single playlist so that it will be easy for you to find it out all right so stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel thank you